When I was 18 years old, I was working basically like 25 hours a week washing dishes at Red Lobster. And to be perfectly honest, it was the worst job I've ever had in my entire life. But the thing that kept me there for a decent amount of time, actually only like two months, was the fact that they would pay me every single week. Whereas every other job I had had till then paid me every two weeks, which was kind of a drag, especially if you're working a job you hate. Now, since then I had many, many other jobs other jobs that actually were much much better but that experience right there is what made me start to realize like yo I never want to work a job that I completely hate working at ever again and that's why I only lasted like two months there but that experience really pushed me to start finding out new ways to make money so that I could literally just never do that again, ever. To be perfectly honest, you don't have to work a job you hate. Like there's so many potential jobs that you could have that are actually not bad. Like you could DoorDash, Uber people around, stuff like that, which I think wouldn't be too bad. But today I wanna talk about how I actually made my first $100 online. So not really working any job, so just working for myself. Because I think if you watch this entire video, you'll get a lot of inspiration and maybe it'll spark up some creativity in you and give you some ideas onto how you can make some money online, whether you've had experience online or not. So don't worry, I'm not gonna try to sell you some course or anything. I'm not here to preach. I'm just gonna tell you some of my experience. My name's Ari, if you're new to the channel. And I make videos about a lot of different things, but all of them revolve around just, just kind of hacking life in a way so like making money online investing your money and yeah i feel like nowadays we really live in a time where life feels kind of like a video game there's so many options to make money and just different ways to spend your time to sort of level up so consider subscribing if you vibe with any of that and of course if you want to support the channel drop a like and leave me a comment i would love to know your thoughts i love talking to you guys in the comments but anyways this goes back to when i was 18 years old and i was just graduating from high school and at the time i had saved up like maybe a thousand dollars or so from working at this job that I completely hated and I decided to just quit and at the time I didn't know much about saving money or investing or anything but I really wanted to experience new things so I used that thousand dollars to take me and my girlfriend to New York and we went by ourselves that was like my first time ever really traveling by myself I mean I was with my girlfriend but still and it was a crazy trip like literally insane and the reason why that's relevant is because that trip literally made me go broke, uh, basically. So I only had like 200 bucks left after that trip. And like I said, I really didn't wanna go back to Red Lobster. So I was like, you know what? I need to figure something out. There's gotta be ways to make money that don't require me having to fill out an application, go through an interview process and just do all that stuff that that's just a hassle in order to make some money. And then I decided, oh, you know what? I know that people sell a lot of things on eBay and Amazon. And what I did is I literally just started finding stuff in my house that I could sell, like things that I know my parents didn't need, things that I knew I didn't need. And I started listing them on eBay. And I made like 20 bucks just selling like a mug, I remember, and like a backpack. So I, I made like 20 bucks after everything was said and done, which was pretty exciting. That was a decent amount of money for me at the time, considering that my total net worth was like 200 bucks. But then I realized that that wasn't really sustainable because obviously I would have to hunt down things in my own house to sell, which my parents probably wouldn't like. And eventually I would have to go out and find more stuff. So I found a local thrift shop if you don't know what a thrift store is or thrift shop, it's basically a place where people donate their stuff that they don't want, mainly clothes, and you can buy them at a really good price. A lot of countries maybe don't have these things available, but more often than not, I'm sure you'll be able to find a thrift shop nearby if you really look for one. And what I did is I started scavenging eBay for categories of products that I saw were selling pretty well. And then what I did is I would go to thrift shops and find things there that I thought would sell well on eBay. Now, I did make some money doing this. However, I wasn't able to sell all the things that I found. So I, I bought like a bunch of stuff. I, sp I reinvested those $20 bought like five more mugs, like a couple little toy cars and just weird things that I thought could sell that I thought were cool. And I did sell a few of them. I did make more money than I had before, but I still wasn't making a lot of money. I, I maybe made like an extra 10 bucks after that. So we're at a total of like 30 bucks by now. But then I found out about something called AliExpress, 
which if you don't know about AliExpress, it's basically like Amazon or eBay, but in China and it's ran directly by manufacturers. So they list some of their stuff on there at close to wholesale prices and you're able to buy single pieces of things. And what I did is I went on eBay again, found out about some things that I thought were selling pretty well. And instead of going to thrift shops this time, which would actually take a long, a long time to go and find things, I went on AliExpress and I ordered like 10 different iPhone cases, 10 different things that I thought would sell really well. Some keychains I remember for really, really good prices. And of course, the downside of this was that I had to wait a long time. I had to wait like three weeks to get this stuff. But once I got it, I listed it on eBay and I also bought some like pouches on AliExpress and just a bunch of some little things to make my packages like look a little more legit. And through that, I was able to actually start selling things. And like the great thing about this method was that since I didn't have a bunch of different products, I had ordered like mainly one set of things, my listing started to gain some traction. So then I actually started to get consistent sales for this same item so I could just replenish it and continue selling this one thing. And through this, I was able to make my first $100 online. And not just that, I actually was able to make over $1,000 doing this over the span of like three or four months. So yeah, it worked quite well. And that was life changing for me at the time. It not only gave me a little bit of extra money to work with, I did end up finding another job at a coffee shop, which I actually really enjoyed. It was actually a really great job, but it gave me some extra money. It gave me an additional income stream. And through that, I was able to learn a skill, which was selling things online. And of course, I didn't know how to make a website. I didn't know how to drive traffic or anything, but I knew how to sell something which was the foundation for what I would build next, which was my own website around some of the products that I ordered on AliExpress. And that's kind of what led me to drop shipping and e-commerce in general. And since I already had taken the leap of faith with eBay and like I'd already tried for several, several months to make money online, I wasn't really scared to try to venture into a better business, which was e-commerce. I mean, there's more potential, in my opinion at least, and at the time I thought so too. I knew that e-commerce would be something much bigger than it was at the time. And because of that, I was able to dive into it pretty carefree. I've always been not really fearless, I would say, but I don't really mind taking risks. In fact, I kind of like taking risks and I don't really give a fuck if it works out or not because I know that things will end up working out in the end because I know that even if I fail, I'll have that experience under my belt and that experience will help me in the future. And I already had that mindset back then after I'd already been trying to make money online. And there's many books that helped me get that mindset. In fact, I mentioned the New York trip and the reason why that's relevant aside from it making me go broke is because in that trip, I read this book called The Richest Man in Babylon. This was probably the first finance book that I ever read. I was never into finance. Keep in mind, like in high school, I was just like a skater kid, a little bit of a stoner, a little bit here and there. So I didn't really care at all about finance, but this book right here really kind of changed my life during that New York trip. I remember vividly going on a trip from Philadelphia to New York because the best plane tickets I could find at the time were to Philadelphia and luckily my brother lived there so I could stay there for a night for free and then the next day we took the train to New York and in that train I read this book and yeah everything just kind of snowballed from there so that's why I'm saying I was never afraid to take risks and that's what allowed me to make my first hundred dollars online and luckily also I was young. The younger you are, the easier it is to take risks. So there's really nothing to fear when it comes to taking risks, especially if you're trying to start your own business. That's like the most worthwhile risk that you could possibly take. And even if it fails, the experience is gonna help you in the future tremendously. You're kind of building a foundation of failures, uh, but that foundation is gonna serve as experience for future successes. That's kind of the best way to look at it. And this played out perfectly in my life because I kept failing and failing, but every time I would fail, I would level up a little bit. So slowly but surely, I was able to build up my net worth 
build up my set of skills. It's been a slow but progressive journey. And now I'm kind of passing down the knowledge, passing down some of my experience. Hopefully it helps some of y'all out. Please don't take this video as preachy or me trying to sell you on something. Again, I'm just telling you what played out in my life and maybe you can take this and it hopefully helps you out. But if not, at the very least, I hope that you found some entertainment in this video. But that's it for today. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll be seeing y'all in my next video. Peace.